and welcome to PlayStation Grenade. The Week 8 update has dropped early, and therefore I'm back again with the Off Fortnite update. If you're new around these parts and not a regular, then no, this is the series where we look for map changes and secrets in the world of Fortnite. If you'd like to support these shenanigans, please think about using code ADAMARU in the store, and above all else, please click subscribe. It's totally free, and 90% of you watching right now haven't clicked it yet. Anyway, Fortnite, map changes, chapter 2, season 3, week 8. Early, let's do this. I began my hunt by first visiting Graham the Gnome Master. This time I decided to take him with me by quickly attaching him to a pickaxe. Graham has evolved and will be with us from here on out. Just below his shack, the water levels have dropped once again, and look what is now fully uncovered. The astronaut pod is now accessible. Last week, we all noticed this bad boy underwater with a thruster embedded in the rock face nearby. And this week, things became insanely good for anyone who wants a bit of lore or a bit of change in Fortnite. By finding three parts for the ship, we can trigger the next evolution in Fortnite BR and the return of something great. The thruster, like we said, is embedded in the mountain face, but by listening out to the sound we can find two other things. The battery, which is near this rock, hidden under the water. Next swim over to the shore, and hiding behind another rock is the heat shield. Take all these three parts back to the ship, and enjoy this moment. The ship has once again returned to outer space using a rift, but look what was left behind. Smaller rifts are back in Fortnite. Think of all the myths we can try now. You thinking what I'm thinking? Marauders in a rift? It's gonna be epic. That's going to be my next video. So while we wait for cars to be added, there's fun to be had here. From a story sense, this small act from an intergalactic vessel giving us tech inadvertently is massive. I think one day we will hunt down Singularity in her mech. Do you remember when she flew away after the greatest boss battle in video game history? I want to give her a high five. No, in fact, I want to give her a high ten. Oh, she's only got one arm. Okay, one high five is cool, girl. Also, the rift is so fun to use and brings back those memories from chapter one. Good times. The question remains though, will Porter Rifts return to the core game? We've seen that they work completely fine in the LTMs, so maybe they're back soon. Next, the biggest change of the week. And no, it's not Atlantis. We'll get to that soon enough. It's Truckosaurus. He has finally reached land. After being trapped underwater for months, he crawled onto the shore just above the docks. Our hero is one step closer to battling the splashback Spartan, who waits ready for battle. I'm sure you've noticed that Truchosaurus has no head. <laughs> this doesn't look to be deliberate though. Instead, the removal of all vehicles in the game while Epic makes them function correctly has probably caused this. But here's a cool thing to note. This confirms Truchosaurus' head will be a drivable vehicle in Fortnite. He's come a long way this old timer. The transformer rig of Optimus Prime is one step closer every update. Poll time. Well, no poll because YouTube removed them. But here's the big question of the day. Who will win in the battle between Truchosaurus and the Splashback Spartan? My money is on Truchosaurus. He's been beat up and battered, but he knows how to survive. But I suppose the Splashback Spartan has taken a lot of sh sh sugar too. I should move on. So Atlantis is finally here and it's named Coral Castle in game. And damn it looks good. The home of the DC super fish dude Arthur aka Aquaman. The POI features many brand new assets and is surrounded by a pretty cool waterfall. I have another question. What the heck are these things? Am I missing something or is that a uh, defective fish in a bowl? Hmm. The layout around here makes for an awesome sight and have you checked out the statues and sculptures yet? There's detail here to be found. In the last Battle Pass, we were introduced to Deadpool's yacht, which also had crazy amounts of detail going on. I like what you're doing, Epic. More of this, please. 
Around this area, we can finally see the crashed Ego plane from the first day of Chapter 2. The original settlers. The plane has seen better days with parts falling deeper into the ocean, but it's here and the importance of that logo is more intriguing than ever. The key to the bunker. One day, probably in 2023, we will get in that bunker. Also note the pirate radio ship is still here. This is interesting as many other boats have been removed. Remember the galleon? I called it a pirate ship. For weeks we watched it make more twists and turns than a cheap garden hose. It looked to be crashing into the dam at one point, and then it looked to be crashing into the tortilla. But in the end, it simply vanished. That can't be right. Rip the dream. Also, has the dance boat gone? You know the one with the dance floor on it? I can't seem to find it. Help me out. In the past we've lost the Piranha Island, we've lost the No Sweat Insurance storage building, but the pirate radio ship remains. Why is that? From the outside we can see this is a direct link to Midas, the man who showed us the real world in the last Fortnite event, and the man we're not sure if he's alive or eliminated forever. His poster stands proud, and inside is the original logo from the agency. And also note that this is a pirate radio station with all the radio gear, but it's literally a ship on water. So play on the words, pirate radio. You get it? Funny not funny. Shut up Adam, I'll move on. Crazy mother have you visited Sweaty Sands recently? Well now the tides have turned, we can see the Golden Sands have come back, and this spot is looking more OG than ever. If you remember in Season 1, there was a wooden building we started to watch here, but nothing happened for so long, we forgot it was there. Well now, finally, after this update, that building has become this, another gas station. Here for the vehicles, whenever they arrive. By the way, Call of Duty's new season drops this week. Do you think Epic will release vehicles at the same time, and day maybe, to drive attention back to Fortnite? That would explain why they've updated the map on a Saturday instead of a Tuesday. Hmm, what will happen on Tuesday? Find out next time. Another strange update in Sweaty Sands is the addition of a basketball court. I know, it's not a big deal, right? Well, you should take more time to really look at this, because things are not as they seem. It's a tiny update, but one of the hoops is a tiny bit higher than the other one. It's only a few inches, so I forgive you if you don't see it right away. Okay, it's totally messed up in the best way possible. Check out the sick free throws. Nothing but net. I feel we need a pointless competition right now. Anyone who can hit a trick shot that blows my mind will be featured in the next map update video. Last time we did this, it was bottle flips for Hut Watch in chapter one. Those were good memories. Let's call this Meatball Madness. Use Twitter to DM me a link to your YouTube video if you want to take part. Here's a funky update which I have no idea what it represents. Up by Steamy Stacks there is a cove which originally had an RV camper. Well now the water levels have plummeted. This thing is here instead. It makes no sense at all right now. A simple shack with a basic fishing hole. Nothing more. Could it be challenge related maybe? Or will this expand into something new? What am I missing? Something feels wrong here. I feel like I'm missing something. Help a brother out. It looks like the water level is back down to what we saw last season. Rivers are back to normal and the sea level looks correct to me. The tortilla has slightly shifted and a gas station has been added ready for the cars. And this lowering has brought back many old points of interest, including slurpy swamps and weeping woods. But both are a complete mess. The water has left a lasting effect here and you'd expect this to be tidied up over the last few weeks of the season. But there is something you should see with your own two eyes. The legacy of Graham's army. Remember last season when the misfit bears escaped the Christmas trucks and began to take over the map? They set up this hidden bunker and captured this guy. Do I still have to say his name whenever we mention him? Okay, I'll say his name. Gandalf Keemstar Jerome the Genome. But by the end of the season, a treaty was signed and that story ended in the first week of season three. Well, right now, that narrative has been frozen in time, letting us take Graham to see his brother in captivity. What a touching moment. And if you figured out I was going to do this with Graham at the start of the video, extra points to you. GG, I'm impressed. And finally, the lowered water brought back the mess of tubes and pipes at the south part of the map. I assumed this meant that the pipe man, Tony Stank, would return too. I searched the shore, 
But sadly, I cannot find our Iron Man anywhere at all. Please help me find this washed up hero. At one point, he looked like he was going to that pipe mess to build something, but he never got there. The flood took him out. So what did I miss from the week eight update? And why do you think they brought it forward three days? Could cars be arriving on Tuesday? Hmm, I hope so. On screen now are the legends who used code Adamaru last week. I wasn't expecting an update video today, so my list is not complete. My apologies, I will get back to you soon. To be shouted out, please use code Adamaru in the store and send a before and after pic to my Twitter as my DMs are open. I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade, and it's been a pleasure. Right now, I'm going to throw a Marauder into a rift. Happy days. I'll see you soon.